the struggle to overcome intolerance, the campaign to protect our environment, the plight of the homeless. Hi, I'm Corey Coffin, and welcome to Community Voices, where student filmmakers take on untold stories. The following documentaries are from the Dodge College of Film and Media Arts at Chapman University in Orange, California. In the Community Voices program, students partner with local nonprofit organizations to create stories about compelling social issues. Community Voices will take you on a journey as we give a voice to those who might otherwise remain unheard. Since 1990, over 400,000 acres of California forests have been clear-cut. Meet a man who is unwilling to accept this devastation of the California redwoods. Meet a man who has taken up residence among the trees. In Among Giants, this activist has changed his life to tree sit and defend the redwoods. Hello and welcome to the local news for Friday, April 1st. I'm Terry Clements reporting for KMUD and KZWAX and C. Cheryl Albritton is a national weather spotter and KMUD's volunteer weather watcher. She brings us the March precipitation totals. Well, March has come to an end and what a wet March it has been. McKinleyville, it was their wettest March since 1990. And Oregon Whitethorn, it was our second wettest March since 1990. Well, Earth First Humboldt has taken to the trees on the McKay Track near Eureka, where Green Diamond Resources Company plans to log about 60 acres. The group says they believe it should be made into a community forest instead. The idea is to protect this area and create a community forest for Eureka. The bottom line is, is that there's many consequences if this forest is cut, because this is something that we're not going to stop fighting for. We don't want to see these woods cut. We don't want to see development, we want to see conservation, and we want to see protection of this area. David Ascarapur heads up the group.
and came up here and thought that I was going to tree sit for the summer and then go back to Sacramento where I'm from. And then decided that I didn't want to leave. I wanted to keep defending the redwoods. I think about how I miss my family members and how I wish it was a little easier to visit. There's been times where I felt stuck in the trees and feeling like it's all on my shoulders. You notice after a hundred how the rings get so much smaller? It's because the tree was like probably growing up more than it was growing out. Or at least it was having to compete a little more. It looks like from, from like here to here, the tree got a lot more sun. And then for some reason from here to here it didn't get quite as much sun. 93, 90. 95, So, roughly 210 years old. But a redwood's natural lifespan is well over a thousand years. I've always felt really at home in the forest. And I have a sense of freedom when I'm in the forest that I just don't have when I'm in an urban landscape.
I'd like to be involved with community building, having fun, just living a pleasant life, you know? But we can't just ignore the problems all around us in order to do that. It's, it's too easy to put the blinder over your eyes and pretend everything is all right. You're like a chin strap. This is what they're doing all over this county. And if we hadn't tree sat, the forest that we're in would look very similar to this. Anybody who puts their mind to it has the potential to make a lot of change. It's not just about this one place, it's about the whole area and really about the whole planet. Finding hope in a solitary life is the struggle faced in the film, Joyce. Through the eyes of an aging woman, explore the challenges of growing older, dealing with the loss of family, and relying on faith to fill the void.
hope is what we have. Hope that we can live up to the standard that He set, or as close as we can. But we need to remember that even though we're faithless, even though we don't always do the things that He'd like for us to do, He's always there. He's just a prayer away. He's always waiting for us to turn back to Him because He's always faithful. If we don't know what caused a person's death, we can beat our heads against a stone wall trying to figure out why. But if we turn it over to God, we really get an understanding that the answer is not necessarily the only the fact that it happened and I can help you get through it. Well, I guess that's all we have. And we'll have a song there. 532. 532.
The Community Voices documentaries are made possible by the Daunt Family Foundation. Funding for this program is provided by Chapman University.